Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Today we will discuss about duplicates records in Power Apps. Let's get started guys, go to Create tab then click on New App, from there select the Canvas app from scratch. Create a Canvas app from scratch. I am naming it as Check Delete No wait Check Duplicate will sounds good. Then click on Create button and we ready to go. To create our first app in which we will learn practical implication of gallery, buttons, text input fields and collections. This is our Power App Studio, let's begin. Go to on start of our app. Here we will define our collection by using keyword collect. Here I am naming my collection as test and creating two items. One is item ID and another is one item name. In Power Apps use a collection to store data that users can manage in your app. A collection is a group of items that are similar, such as products, in a product list. I will make another whole video on collections in Power Apps if you want to learn about collections in detail comment below. Let's say. We have item name equals to pen. Let's restart our app go to three dots on apps right click on it from there click on run on start. Now our collection has been created with two fields in it. Now create a gallery. I am creating a blank vertical gallery let's set it properly and now set its data source to our collection test. Now it's showing pen pen let me just configure it I just need the title and subtitle. Ok now change this item dot item name to this item dot item id now it's all done let's insert a text input and place it to the right now insert another text input and set it towards the right let me adjust text input height because here we are going to enter our items Now insert a button and also place it towards right. Now go to text input 1 and clear the pre-populated text from test field by going right side of the app there you see all the setting regarding your text input field. And now enter the hint text as enter item ID. Now do the same for the text input 2 and enter the text hint as enter item name. Now select the button. Go to on select property. We have to enter our code here. I am using a patch function on my collection test. So that I can modify my collection. Here I am using a patch function on my collection test. So that I can modify my collection rows and columns. And set the collection field. Item ID to my text input field 1 text. Now set the item name field to the text input 2.text. It will set the value of item ID and item name to the value which I entered in text input 1 and text input 2 respectively and I will trigger this action through button because we entered this code on select property of button. Let's see what we have here. We are facing an error. The type of the argument item ID does not match the expected type number. Found type text. And the patch function has some invalid arguments. Here I am forgetting an argument called defaults. Patch with the defaults function to create a record in the data source. This formula helps to create a new records in our collection whenever we triggers patch function with argument defaults. And now come to second error. The error is saying that we are entering the text. But item ID accepts only number data type value as input so we need convert it into number. And for converting text value into number we can use value function which convert text value into number data type. 
Now let's see what we have done till now. Enter the item ID, then enter item name. Then click on the button and see if this adds new record or not. Good, it's working properly. Now let's move to next phase, but firstly reset our both the input fields on click so that we see fresh input fields every time. Now check the code one more time. Here I'm entering a duplicate record on ID2. So that I can test in future. And a new record with ID3 and name copy. Then click on button let's see if it's add new record. Good it's working fine. Now let's move to day's main part. First set a variable using set function. I am naming the variable as varcheck and in varcheck, I am assigning a lookup function on collection test for the row which contains item id equal to a text input value. The lookup function finds the first record in a table that satisfies a formula. Use lookup to find a single record that matches one or more criteria. For both, the formula is evaluated for each record of the table. Records that result in true are included in the result. There are three type of variables in Power Apps. Global variable, context variable and collection, set is as a global variable. Global variables are this is similar to a global variable in programming language and it can hold a number, text string, boolean, record, table, etc. as a data value. Wait we have type warning here we have to use value function. Now define a if statement and check if the ID which we entered is not present in the collection then add a new row with unique ID which we have entered. For this I am using is blank, keyword for checking the variable which I define var check dot item ID is blank or not. Let's see what I am missing here, a comma. And for the else part, what I have done is if there is a ID present in our collection then just replace the item name related to that ID. This is the way of finding duplicates in Power Apps. There are also many ways of finding duplicates. Now just test what we have done till now. Take ID equals to 4 and item name equals to iPhone. Then click on the button let's see if it's working or not. Good it's working now check the else statement for that I am taking ID equals to 4 and changing the item name by Samsung. Code is working properly. Now what I have done is on the else statement set a pop-up which shows that the ID that you have entered is already exists do you want to update the value of the ID item then click on update else click on cancel. Let's test our app by entering an already existing ID 1 if our code is working properly then it will show a pop-up. Find it showing in pop-up which shows the duplicate value found. On update button, I am defining the patch function, which changes the item name of its respective ID, the I am resetting my controls. Yes it's working properly the name changed to POCO of ID 1. With this approach, you can find the duplicates in the collection or in the SharePoint list or in any other connectors. I hope you can find this video productive.
I made this video for one of my subscriber who asked me to make it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video subscribe to our channel this will keep us motivated and tell us by commenting which topic I should cover in my next video.